When I was a kid, I loved going to the swimming pool and I still do. And I remember as a child, I used to have this uh, inflatable little seahorse that wrapped around my waist that I carried around and I would, you know, walk as fast as I could around the pool without running and jump into the side of the pool and into my mom's arms and splash around. And it was so much fun. The only challenge was uh, I have two older sisters and I remember watching them go off the diving boards. And the thing was, you weren't allowed to jump off the diving boards with any inflatable things around your body. And I remember so desperately wanting, right, that freedom that came with jumping, right, and into the unknown and springing off the board and splashing into the water. But because I was bound so tightly to the inner tube around my waist, this little seahorse, I wasn't able to fully experience the liberation and the freedom of jumping off the diving board. And I'm sure my mom would love to recount this story. And my recollection is it probably took me a long time to be willing to even remove that little seahorse from around my waist. And I still remember like, you know, feeling, you know, the texture of like the ladders on diving boards, how they're like extra, like rough to make sure you don't slip. I still, to this day, remember walking out to the very edge and looking over right into the water. I remember probably climbing up and down like 10 different times because I kept getting scared. And then that final moment where I jumped and I got to experience that freedom. Now I'm a mother. And I remember I was at the pool recently and I I shared this in my letter about just this moment of James holding on to me and then just lovingly, right? go out onto his own, right? He has his little water wings on and feeling the security around those water rings. And I know one day those water rings are going to have to come off for him and he's going to have to jump. But if I'm really honest, I'm probably still wearing that inner tube around my waist. James turns two here in just a couple months. And, you know, fear and uncertainty as a mother, I think anybody who is a parent out there would agree that the biggest worry and fear that I have in my life is him and his future and his safety. And, you know, up until he was born, you know, I'm an entrepreneur and fear and uncertainty are like, That was just part of my everyday life, right? You're constantly jumping. You're constantly taking the next leap. But what I worry and fear the most is the world that he is going to grow up in. I worry about the day where we're going to have to take the water wings off of him and he is going to have to face a world that is unnecessarily cruel and oppressive simply because of the color of his skin. And I hear from so many parents that, you know, we want to do everything that we can for our kids. And I think it's time that we as parents start facing that we have an inner tube around our waist. We have systems and structures that are very real in our communities, that while give us a sense of of safety, and I'm especially talking to those of us who probably look like me, white, cisgendered folks, where we have been on the benefiting end of 
a lot of rules and regulations, right? Let's just be honest. The systems keep people who look like me in a sense of security and in a sense of power. And we are also facing some of the, mo the most extreme, very real scenarios in our lifetimes, climate change, racial inequality, right? We are living in a time and period where we cannot function as, as a society anymore if we keep that inner tube around our waist, if we keep perpetuating the systems and structures that divide us, if we keep allowing, right, I, I know in body, mind, living to me, it's about doing the inner work so that I can do the outer work and then doing the outer work so that I can do the inner work, right? I dream of a day when we all have the support and structures around us to fully feel whole in our own bodies. To me, that is the world that I live for. Body, mind, living is about giving, you know, holding space for every body to feel that freedom and that liberation. And while I sit here as a mother and I fear and worry about his future, the real fear for me is looking at what have I put around me that gives me a sense of safety and security that actually is holding back my child's future and is ripping him from a planet that is healthy and communities that are healthy. I think the fear and uncertainty that we as parents have to start facing is ourselves. I know in my heart that all of us, all of us want to feel safe, all of us want to feel free. And all of us want to live in a world where our kids get to experience that as well. And there's a, a quote that I once heard from a mentor of mine named Philip Shepard. And he said, that we all have a, have a desire for safety and we all have a desire for freedom. The challenge is that people who chase safety find neither and people who chase freedom find both. We have to do our part to look at the inner tube around us, the thing that we think that is keeping us safe, that is actually stopping us from having the freedom and the liberation that we all desperately want to experience for ourselves and for our kids. That means we have to start being uncomfortable. We have to take an honest look at how we are perpetuating the very things that we want to protect our children from. It's hard. It's uncomfortable. It requires us to face so many levels of fear and uncertainty. And I dream about what's waiting for our kids on the other side. This is Body Mind Living with Laura Wick. Thanks for watching.